The thing is this right here. With Donald Trump sitting on that panel, Donald Trump could have answered those questions, but he danced around those questions. He never answered not one of those questions. And instead of him addressing what needed to be addressed, he danced around it. When it came down to Kamala Harris, instead of him just acknowledging, yeah, I did say this, I did say that, he was like, oh, well, she was an Indian at one point, and, and now she's she's a, she's a black. She's well, a black. It was, uh, well, it was already reported when he showed up there, he was already angry anyway. Yeah. He, he, was, he was already angry anyway. So, and then they, he had to wait an extra 35 minutes just to, you know, the equipment to get work. And well, then he, but, uh, the whole panel didn't start. It was almost like an hour before the show yeah. even started. He addressed it. He said, "I, you, you, you being rude and you come out here and go talk to me after you got me being waiting for 35 minutes because you were late. Well, that wasn't was the problem, though. Those was his who statements that she pointed to him. Who problem? Who problem was it? That was the people all over this thing. That wasn't them ladies' problem. And he's addressing them and what? being very disrespectful. The ladies was over that. Elvis. What? Wait, them ladies I... was over that. But again, yeah, what... that's their program. That's they why I want to the Harris lady. Listen, at the end of the day, if but Jai he gave more was, respect to that that damn Republican woman that was at the end, and he did them two black women that was sitting right beside him. Hey, well, I'm saying Jai, him almost I, every week. If I let you, if I let you use my church for something, Jives, and it's your program. Number one, you as it being your your program, you gonna make sure that I'm at my church and I got things in order for you to start. I'm not defending Donald Trump. Let's be clear. I'm just saying in that in that aspect with somebody say you're late or something, you said it was not their problem because they was 35 minutes late. I mean, that that's a bit that's a bit their problem. I mean, we don't we I mean, but so they controlling and, the mind. Hate them or, and hate them, love them or hate them. A, a a president or a former president ain't used to waiting on other people. People wait on them. No, that's reality. Honey, you go to some of these churches. The past, Lord, thank you. <laughs> but at the end of the day, we're discussing something <laughs> that we're expecting to have decorum and common sense. And he has demonstrated on multiple occasions. He has neither. No, you ain't can't say nothing about that now. Because we we I think that's why Joe Biden won. And, and but see, this is the problem. We are in this situation now because the lack of because Joe Biden won. Not only because he was the vice president to our, our great beloved Barack Obama, but he was also uh, someone that was going to bring normalcy back to the state. They want we want the United States to get back to normal. It was it was it was seeming to be chaotic. It seemed to be crazy. It seemed to be all over the place. So we wanted something normal. So when the normal came. Then inflation came. Then all these people start hurt. Their pockets start hurting. So people start getting nervous. Now people going crazy because we shouldn't be in this situation. I can tell you one thing. If the economy was different, I don't even think the crazy, he might would have ran, but wouldn't nobody be worried about him? So Elvis, the let people, me this and then. No, and he's, basically, he's basically running to stay out of jail. 